Welcome back to the Advanced Interaction Story tutorial series. In today's video, we're delving into heartbeat events. Let's dive right in. To kick things off, create a new cinematic and assign the level sequence. In the previous cinematic, opt for the heartbeat event. For these event types, there can only be one success cinematic but it's crucial to provide another cinematic for fail event. Furthermore, let's ensure that the previous cinematic replays in the event of failure. There's no need to set an ID for the QuickTime event because we will handle that in the sequencer sections. Now, integrate the Heartbeat Event track into the Level Sequencer. Adjust the position of the event. And configure the widget, ID, and sound effect for each section in the properties. You can duplicate sections and assign different IDs or sound effects to each. Each ID can represent different keys, adding a layer of challenge. Save your progress and conduct a test. You should observe prompts at the correct moments in the sequence, corresponding to the keys we've set. If you desire to create a custom widget for this event type, duplicate the existing ones from the plugin folder into your project. Add UI elements from the design panel and tailor the widget's behavior to match your desired events. For a more comprehensive understanding of these events, consult the documentation. Thanks for watching.